can you not see, or will ye not observe the strangeness of his altered countenance? With what a majesty he bears himself. How insolent of late he is become, how proud, how peremptory, and unlike himself. We know the time since he was mild and affable, and if we did but glance afar off look, immediately he was on his knee that all the court admired him for submission. But meet him now, and be it in the morn when everyone will give the time of day, he knits his brow and shows an angry eye and passeth by with stiff, unbowed knee, disdaining duty that to us belongs. Small curs are not regarded when they grin, but great men tremble when the lion roars. And Humphrey is no little man in England. First note that he is near you in descent, and should you fall, he is the next will mount. Miss Seemeth, then it is no policy respecting what a rancorous mind he bears, and his advantage following your decease, that he should come about to your royal person or be admitted to your highness council. By flattery he hath won the commons' hearts, and when he pleased to make commotion, it is to be feared, they will all follow him. Now is the spring, and weeds are shallow-rooted. Suffer them now, and they'll o'ergrow the garden, and choke the herbs for want of husbandry. The reverent care I bear unto my lord made me collect these dangers in the duke. If it be fond, call it a woman's fear, and I will subscribe and say I wronged the duke. My lords of Suffolk, Buckingham and York, reprove my allegations if you can, or else conclude my words effectual. <laughs>